Miguel Torres making his way to the world famous octagon. Miguel Torres is an extremely tall bantamweight. He's got very good striking, great submissions, and an impressive resume of wins. He earned his black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Carlson Gracie and has knockout power in his hands. Miguel Torres, fired up and ready to go. Damasio Page, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Damasio has a relentless attack, great technical striking, and generates a lot of power in his punches. He's also got a good wrestling base and top-flight training partners at Greg Jackson's camp. Damasio Page, ready to throw down and put on a show. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at tapout.com. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall. Weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. By way of East Chicago, Indiana. He is the former WEC bantamweight champion. Miguel Angel Torres. And now... Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands five feet six inches tall. Weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Demacio, the angel of death, Page. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things started. Are you ready to fight? Miguel ready? Torres, Damasio Page. And here we go. Come on, let's do it. Come on, baby, one, two. He caught the leg. He's got the takedown. Pushes him off with the feet. Stop. He drops him with the uppercut. Oh! Somehow he's able to get up. Again, the takedown is stuffed. He's got his back. He wants that rear naked choke. He's trying to set it up. He's working the choke. I don't, I don't think he has it, Mike. It's not. He got out. And he escapes. Full guard. He's in the full guard. Pushing his opponent away. Swing and a miss. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. The left. Working with the over, the over under, under here. Oh, he pulls guard into the guard. Under three minutes now. You go now. You go. Stop. Stand up. This is pretty much a stalemate. Yeah. Referee's going to stand him up. Here right, we go. Fight. One, six. And now he's answered. Got the double underhooks. Outstanding takedowns. Oh, mount. Joe mixing up his strikes very well. Oh, he got reversed. Side control. And back to full guard. Back to side control. Torres is cut open here, Mike. He's in guard here. Side control again. Oh, body shot. He's in full guard. Side control now. Nice right hand. Man, those 
are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. In the guard. Pushes him off with the feet. He lets him up. Oh, he's hurt! That one dropped him! Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. 30 seconds remains in the round. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Oh, big combination. Round one complete. Difficult round to score, Joe. Definitely. There wasn't much action, and you never know how a judge weighs a takedown over, say, a jab. Very tough round to call. He's going up the cage, okay? Got to keep those uh, hands up inside. The leg kicks are there. All right, the leg kicks are there. And you can feed him heavy hands for me. Heavy hands for me, all right? Heavy hands, you're ripping the body, but you're getting that hand back up legs. Up. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. We saw a number of knockdowns. Here's the first one. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. And here's another great throw. This is a judo for MMA clinic inside the octagon tonight. You gotta fight your fight. You gotta take him down. You gotta impose your will because you're a bigger star. The beautiful Shandella. We are ready for round two. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? We start round two. On, this it. fight's scheduled for five. Five-minute rounds. He caught the kick, and down he goes. Inside the guard. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, man, Torres is cut open bad now, Mike. Got the double underhooks. He's looking to take him down. He gets mounted. Oh, the double underhook didn't work that time. You got plenty of time. Get his hand down. He ain't that one. And really raining down some haymakers. Into half guard. Into his guard. Pushing his opponent away. And he lets him back up. And good right hand counter. What an exchange here. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, looping hook there. Push kick. Fast hands, good battle inside. Working your angles. And he oh, answers. Big right hand. Boom. Over the top. He's looking for that right hand, Mike. Oh, big shots. 90 seconds remains in the second. He takes him down again. Good sprawl. In the full guard here. Now into side control. Wow, that right hand. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. And he's got he's side, side control. control. Half guard. Full mount. This is not good. Half guard. And mount again. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Pushes him off with the feet. Nice, nice. Inside with a clinch again. Two rounds in the books. Three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. Hey, look at the score. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown, you score with... Listen to me. Don't crowd him. Relax. Don't go for the big hook. Use the right hand. Hook right hand, jab right hand. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And this was that nice counter. Just perfect movement here. 
And here we see that exchange that ended in a solid takedown. A lot of versatility being shown in that I'm round, Mike. Fives with the punches now, right? we, we can't hold back now. Cannot hold back. The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? And we are set on, for the start it. of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Good combinations here. Nice body kick. Keep pressure him once you get a little back. Press forward. One, six, two, five. Joe, he dove right. Oh, he's slapping on a triangle. He's holding down, down the in back. The yep. He's got some pressure on it, Joe. It's over. Triangle choke. Victory tonight. We have a new UFC bantamweight champion. As soon as he gets that foot locked underneath his knee, pulls down on that head, and his opponent is forced to tap or black out. Here we see it one more time. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 24 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. And now, the new UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Miguel Angel Torres. Miguel Torres is the UFC bantamweight champion.